What's up? I'm Kavu and I'm gonna show you how to use Wabajak to install high and dry. go where your steam is, you locate Fallout New Vegas and you want to make a clean installation. That means you right click on it, you go to manage and you uninstall it and then you install it again. I have already done this process so I'm not gonna do it again. Ok, we're back and now you finished installing Fallout New Vegas. Go ahead and click play on the launcher and once it launches, just exit. That will initiate the uni files. Now, right click on Fallout New Vegas, go to manage, go to browse local files. And this is exactly how Fallout New Vegas should look like. Keep this window open and something I need to mention. Here on the left is my driver. I have installed install Fallout New Vegas on my D-Driver, always install your games or Fallout New Vegas where you have an SSD. If you don't, you're gonna have 3 and 4 minute loading screens. How do you check if you have an SSD or not? Click Task Manager, go to Performance and here you can check on which disk you have an SSD or not. So when you're going to install Fallout New Vegas, always select the disk you have the SSD. I'm gonna open a completely new window, I'm gonna go on my D driver and here what you need to do, you need to create a new folder and name it Wabajak like I have done. So right click, click new, grab a new folder and name it Wabajak and after this you should have an empty folder. So next step, you are going to Google to download Wabajack. Wabajack is our automated installation program, so go ahead and click download. Once you download this, you are going to put the application inside the Wabajack and run it. Once you have run Wabajack, you should have these exact components over here. Now before we do anything, you need to make another new folder and name it high and dry like I have done. Once you do this, create another folder and call it download. As you can see, it's empty. This is where we are going to install everything from Wabachak. So now, let's go to Wabajack, let's click on it and it's going to run. You might have to restart your PC if Wabajack doesn't start. Go to Browse List, click on the Not Safe for Work filter and down here go to Fallout New Vegas. There is many lists. High and Dry, in my opinion, is the best looking, the best running mod list. I personally love this. It's made by Jayer and it just got its newest update. Have in mind, what you are looking at, you can do this for any game you want. It can be Skyrim, it can be Mountain Blade, you name it. I am probably going to make a similar video for Skyrim. Click on the High and Dry. One thing I need to make mention to you before we start this process is that if you don't have a subscription for it you'll have to manually click yes to its download so you can do that personally i have a subscription because i install many mod lists and your subscription also goes to the modders so you're supporting the modders themselves have in mind if you have a subscription everything is going to be installed automatically so go here and click install don't go if something weird pops out and here do you see on the left this is extremely important you want to select the very first one and select the high and dry exactly as i have it and the next one it should be inside high and dry on the download so have it exactly like that and click install that's how simple this process is this is going to take an hour if you don't
don't have the subscription again, you will have to manually click yes to everything. Grab a Nuka Cola, go do something productive to your life, and come back once this process will be finished. Six and a half hours later. And High and Dry has successfully been installed. If you've got an error message like the download has failed, very simple. Go back to Wabajack, reopen it, and you are going on the exact same way we've done it to re-download High and Dry by going to Browse Files, by selecting Fallout New Vegas, and by picking High and Dry. When you are going to click Install, the mod list is not going to start from zero, but it will continue from where your game was. I'm gonna close Wabachak because we don't need it. Here is the important part. Look at what Wabachak has done to our files. Our downloads essentially contain every single mod and everything else we need is here. Are we finished Cub? You might ask me. No dear viewer, we are not finished yet. We're just getting started. You want to right click and open mod organizer and once you open it you're gonna get this. Before we do anything, before I start correcting things and fixing things and I'm gonna show you what to do, here on the profile if you click on it we have a bunch of mods. This represents the mod you will be playing the game. Normal is normal, hardcore is with hardcore difficulty and, and the third is performance which I assume is for people with less strong rigs. I always play hardcore so I'm going to click that. Ignore this one, just select again the mod you need. On the active you can see the total mods we have, on the plugins you can see our total plugins. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to click on this and we're going to select the Fallout New Vegas patch and we're going to run it. This is going to run the patch as you can see and it says patching Fallout New Vegas US and that it's already patched. Click any key to continue, I'm gonna click H because why not? And what we've just done, we've installed the 4GB patcher, which means we can use 4GB of our RAM. If we haven't done this part, our game will crash the moment we open. The second step is for us to click on this link over here and download this very mod. Click the download now. This is a mod that the mod list requires in order to work. You are going to open this. I'm gonna open my mod organizer. I'm sorry if things look a little bit strange. And what you want to do, you want to go to your downloads and very simply drag and drop the file we've installed, which is the, the vanilla UI extension, and just drop it there. I am going to enable this. Here on the bottom right, do you see the filter? I'm gonna type vanilla UI and as you can see it shows me the vanilla UI plus and I'm simply going to drag my vanilla UI extension below this. Priority is 121 and 200 so it's not fixed. Place it on top of it and now place the vanilla UI again on top of it. So now you should have vanilla UI plus and then the vanilla UI extension. On the priority you have 121 and 122 which means the one overrides the other. Go ahead and enable this. Next, we're going to install the mod called Cyberware and I'm so glad Jayer included this on this new patch. This mod is amazing. So very simple, open this. It's gonna drop you on this page. Go to the files over here and click Mod Manager Download. And the mod author tells us to place this under our overhauls. Grab Cyberware and move it all the way up to our overhauls. I'm gonna put it here here and click enable and if we scroll all the way down to our plugins this is cyberware just drag it a little bit high on your mod list So next, we want to go to our library, we want to find Fallout New Vegas and simply launch it. We've done this before, I'm going to do it again just to be sure. Next, 
Next, we go where our high and dry is. We click on the BSA decompressor and we're going to click on this. And very simply, let it auto select this as it is and click decompress. What this is going to do, it is going to decompress all of the data files, which means it will reduce the loading time. Combining this with you running the game from your SSD, the loading screens will only take few seconds. This is a must thing to do if you want to play Fallout New Vegas with over a thousand mods as we are going to do. If you go here, and I will have all of the links down in the video description, we need to go and click and enter this Discord. It's safe, don't worry about it, just click on it. It's going to drop you, let me show you. It's gonna drop you on this Discord on the left. You want to go to the Nighty Builds and download the latest NVR setting. That's how simple it is. I'm gonna open my mod organizer, go to your downloads, and very simple, drag and drop the NVR and there it is enable NVR and we need to find the optional NVR separate again what Jair has done with all of those separators my god this is the most cleanest mod organizer I've seen in my life you want to drag this all the way up on the optional NVR and now you want to essentially enable it enable it and enable everything that counts as NVR enable all of those all of the things here you can read it on the right so enable all of those oops I forgot the moonlight and then disable those if you are using NVR it is so easy to mod any game especially Fallout New Vegas that used to be a pain in the butt with Wabajack that's how easy and simple it is and it's not because of Wabajack it's because again the mod author has made it so clear now some extra things you can go ahead and check most of the mods and what you want and what you don't want very simple we are going to launch the game give it a minute or two for high and dry to run this process took me 2 minutes and 31 seconds let's make a new game and test this out if it's a little bit laggy on the first time don't worry about it just give it some time i have over 60 hours played on high and dry so any issues you guys have you can post it down in the comment section or you can even go to the jr's discord and ask him yourself here is my favorite doctor and you can see the interiors and how beautiful everything looks again look at this this is the enhanced camera. Anytime I try to install the enhanced camera in any of my mod list, my game crashes. Usually in the Fallout New Vegas, you move super fast. Now, there is a delay on the movement because it makes sense. Every time you're going to pick and loot something, I'm gonna show you. You have all types of animations. Again, this is the weapons. If I'm gonna grab this book, look at this. Boom. Boom. I have no idea how you managed to put over a thousand mods and make the game look like this without crashes and with amazing performance, but look at that. If I press escape and press M, my god, there's so many things added. There is the grenade key, so make sure you check this one out so you don't drop grenades on yourself. We have where it is. I'm gonna type map. Real time b-boy map. I'm gonna click for a key bind and press M. So if I press M, look at that, isn't that super cool? If you don't like the UI on the top right, you can press escape and press N. I don't like the quest to show on the top right, I want to have the least amount of UI. By the way, this is our people, on the left you can see our needs, do you see the cross here? I don't like that. So what I personally like to do, I go to the just mods, I go to crosshair and I remove all of the crosshair unless we're using a siding. It makes the combat super realistic. But again, look at this guys, you can see from the other side of the map, the black mountain. Again, everything runs so smooth as you can see. I don't have the best rig. I run a 370 Ti, 32GB of RAM. That's what you need to run this. Let me show you how the interiors look. Oh, this is by the way, this there is new content, so if you pick this node, there is a new quest for you to find a missing child. So again, this mod list has new quests, new locations, new weapons, new armors, lots of new things for you to explore, but it feels vanilla at the same time. And here we are. 
This is the notice board, so you can click on that and do those quests because it helps you get some early caps, nothing too crazy and get some reputation and also use the junk around the wasteland in a cool way because we have different weathers, the nights look a little bit more darker here but anyway, this is high and dry, we've managed to successfully install it very fast any questions you have, ask me down in the comment section like the video, subscribe, it helps me, it boosts the channel it helps me find my audience and with that being said, thank you for watching and until next time, have fun playing Fallout New Vegas I'm gonna cover Skyrim next Bye bye. And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain, my friend. I'll say it clear. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway.